Hello and welcome. My name is Rachel Nash and today I would like to introduce you to our new Opera 3 module, Auto Invoicing. The application has been written and developed for Opera customers to enable full automation of all purchase invoices they receive. For the next couple of minutes, I will guide you through the Intuitive app and give you a demonstration of just how easy the module is to use. Auto invoicing enables Opera users to easily send supplier invoices received as PDF files or images to the purchase ledger and removes the need to manually key in any purchase invoice as auto invoicing creates a posting for you. Let's take a look at a purchase invoice I have received in my email inbox. Here, within Outlook, I have received an email from BNF Trent Office Supplies. Attached within the email is a PDF file, which is in fact an invoice received. Here, we can view the detail and we can see the invoice is dated the 1st of August and is invoice number 391. We can also see the line item, which is in this instance A4 paper for £12. For auto invoicing to process this PDF, we simply forward the email to the email address attached to the auto invoicing application. Another way of processing the invoices received from suppliers is to set up a forwarding rule. All invoices received from suppliers can be sent automatically to the email address for processing within auto invoicing. Another way of processing invoices received from suppliers is within the application itself. If I launch my browser, we can see the auto invoicing application. To use the application, I simply sign in. Here I can put my details for logging in. and log in. Once the application is launched, I am able to process the invoices received from suppliers within the application. Here we can see the option drag and drop invoices. This launches a form where I can simply left click and identify the invoices I want to process. We've already sent across invoice number 391 via email, but here we have another invoice from BNF Trent, number 553. And to process this invoice, I simply drag and drop onto the form. We can see here that it's uploading and that it's now uploaded. Whilst here, I have another invoice from Carters and I'm going to drag and drop this onto the form for processing. This invoice from Carters is in fact a stock related invoice. And now that it's uploaded, I'm going to close this form and view the actual invoice from Carters. We can see the detail from the Carters invoice. And we can see this invoice Number 779 is in fact for Carmat Small, a stock item held in the Orion demo data. Now that I've processed my invoices within auto invoicing, I can launch Opera and the Orion data set. Here within Opera, we have a new option, auto invoicing. This launches a new form that receives the purchase invoices that have been processed by auto invoicing. If I click to download the three invoices, we can view the transactions that auto invoicing has created within Opera. Firstly, we can see invoice number 391, the invoice I forwarded via email. If I double click, it launches the detail that the optical character recognition engine has read from the PDF that it received. 
We can see that it knows the account, BNF Trent, the transaction date and the invoice number, as well as the line item A4 paper. Another invoice we processed, again from BNF Trent, was invoice number 553. And if I double click on this invoice, again, we can see the detail it is collected from the OCR scan. And we could also edit this information and add to it. In this case, I'm going to add a second reference and OK that. So now that my transactions are in auto invoicing, I can simply click them and mark them to post. This then will post to the purchase invoice register within Opera. You can, as an option in auto invoicing, post them directly to the purchase ledger. So I'm going to say yes to post to PIR and they are then posted. So if I close the auto invoicing form and launch the purchase invoice register, we can view the transactions within the register and their detail. So I will list and call up Carters first. And we can see the invoices for Carters within the register. If I can scroll down, I'm now looking for my invoice that I sent across and the invoice was number 779. So here we can see the invoice 779. And if I edit, we can view the detail as well as the line item, which was for car mat small. We have added within auto invoicing the option of matching the invoice to the purchase order. So here, by clicking match invoice, I can see the outstanding orders for Carters that I could match this invoice against. For this demonstration, I'm going to pick up purchase order number 450 and select. We can see the line item within the purchase order was for 10 items and I can match that with the quantity of 10. So I simply say OK and match. That invoice is now matched to the purchase order. The other invoices I sent across were for BNF Trent. And if I scroll to BNF Trent, we can view the transactions in the purchase invoice register. The first one that we sent across was for 391. And if we scroll down, we can find that invoice. Here we are. And we could simply post. This then identifies this invoice for posting. And we can see the invoice here. And we'll double click and OK. And it's now posted to the purchase ledger. So I'm now going to close the register and within purchase processing, call up the supplier for BNF Trent. If we now look at the transactions on the account, we will now scroll down and find the invoice 391, which has been posted now to the purchase ledger. I have a new option, again from auto invoicing, view PDF. And that allows me to see the PDF attachment to this transaction, which was for the A4 paper. Thank you for watching.